Today I'm here with the Bronco Everglades. This is the most capable Bronco you can buy. Now you might think, what about the Raptor? Well, the Raptor, which we reviewed before on this channel, is more, made more for off-road speed and things like running Baja and things like that. This is made for going into the deep woods and deep trenches. It has a snorkel, it has a winch, it has huge knobby tires. It's made for serious, some serious stuff. So today we're gonna take a look and uh, see how this baby goes. The story of the Bronco starts out in 1966 with the first generation car. And uh, that was this unique chassis and it really made a mark for itself. Uh, there have been other Broncos in the middle between 66 and 96, uh, but the sixth generation one, the one we currently have, is definitely uh, the best of the bunch. The, uh, of course, the Everglades is a special edition one that Ford says is made for customers who want to venture deep into the wild with the assurance of a factory installed, installed snorkel, uh, winch and the Sasquatch package. Uh, it is really an amazing setup because this thing is pretty unstoppable. It can go anywhere and it's really cool to be able to get such a thing directly from you know, the manufacturer. You don't have to make, make one yourself. It comes with a full warranty and you know the system is well tested and works really well. For uh, off-roaders looking to go further off the grid, the Everglades is definitely the one it is uh, definitely the one that can get you there when uh, other vehicles will have to stop and won't make it through. The snorkel is a class exclusive uh, uh, piece that uh, runs up the passenger side A pillar, optimizes vehicle performance in the dust, and snow, water, raises the engine uh, in air intake. Um, so you can uh, not have to worry about the engine sucking in. Of course, the Warren winch, 10,000 pounds, it's awesome. It uses um, a synthetic uh, cable uh, so it won't rust and uh, it, can tow, it can tow you out of trouble if you get stuck somewhere. The front and rear axles, transfer case, transmission also have raised vents in this, in this model so that you can go deep into the water and not get water into those things. You can get in there for uh, 36 inches of water. So that's basically almost up to the top of the, the, the tires. You can go uh, that deep because it has 35 inch tires. So speaking of those tires, the tires are uh, 17 inch uh, uh, Goodyear. Uh, mud terrain tires, they're 35 inch tires, so you can basically cover the tires uh, with water and uh, feel safe and secure that uh, you're going to be fine and it's going to go through. There's a unique graphic package uh, on the Everglades, which you see on the fender. It's kind of cool, it kind of plays to the heritage of the vehicle. And also, the Everglades has been designed to be uh, easy to clean after a weekend on the trails. You get standard marine grade vinyl seats, rubberized uh, washout flooring, and, uh, and it makes it just basically, after you get it all dirty, you can make it easy to clean. Um, but you also get really cool features like a 12 inch sink uh, four system. Um, you get, uh, and under the hood, you get a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine that gives you 300 horsepower out of this four cylinder engine, which is pretty cool. You get a 10 speed automatic, and, uh, and you get a 67.8 crawl ratio for going in this kind of conditions, rock climbing. It's, uh, it's hard to get that in uh, almost anything else these days, so uh, that's pretty amazing. But what really makes this special, uh, you know, compared to things that you build yourself, is that this is something that you can drive to Costco, you can drive to grocery store, you can drive it on the freeway, and you know what? It's comfortable. It's uh, it's not this you know it's not a Lincoln Town Car, but uh, you can drive it safely. It's reliable, and uh, then you can just uh, uh, air down the tires and go rock climbing. So that's pretty spectacular. It's uh, you get a really cool suspension, and um, and amazing tires that really make this uh, make this possible. So if you want all this, it's going to cost you about fifty three thousand to begin and ours was a little bit more than that so uh, it, depending on the options you get but if you want to go off-roading uh, there's not much better choice uh, out there than uh, the Bronco Everglades <music> Thank you.